All right, time for an update on the Bass Raider. I'm getting a couple questions about my trailer and a couple other things, so it's been a while since I did an update video. <clears throat> I picked up this uh, little 4x8 Harbor Freight jobby here. It, uh, it's 20 years old, the guy I got it from. Pretty much never left his property. Um, originally bought it for his son to haul a dirt bike on, but the kid wrecked his car, yada yada, and his wife had just been using it for a yard cart for years. Anyway, I got it for $300 with a title. The title being the real challenge if you're in Illinois. <clears throat> so, for $300 bucks with a title, I snapped it up. Um, just a piece of three-quarter inch decking on it. Um, I redid all the lights and wiring on it because I don't play that game. Threw a new set of tires on it. Um, these are oak 2x4s from a pallet. Just got some simple side stays on there. Uh, those are old plow marker marker poles for a snow plow I had laying around. Uh, those worked out great for backing it up when the boat's not on there because this thing is so short you can't see anything. Even, uh, even with my little ranger, which I typically pull this with, I can't see the trail at all, let alone pulling with any of my other much larger vehicles. Um, yeah, those little trailer works great. Um, even with the boat on it, I don't think the whole package trailer and boat and everything weighs 500 pounds. So <clears throat> works fantastic if you're looking for a trailer. Snap one up. Um, I can't find one around here used for less than what you can buy one new for. So, but if you are looking for a little utility trail, the four by eights, it's all you need for the Bass Raider. <clears throat> trying to think what else I've changed on here. Changed my um, my switch pod from my last video. Went with this one, it's a lot lower profile. And I just didn't like how much the other one stuck out. So I got my five switches in there, little voltage indicator. Um, ran some interior lights in here, just on the one side, and it's, uh, it's bright enough to get a suntan with, so definitely don't need more than that. That runs all the way up here. I think all the rest of my lights were on the last video. Oh, one thing I did change. I've been using these uh, cheap little cam lock plugs in the rear of the hull. I drilled a half inch hole in the back, you know, to drain the pontoons. And uh, <clears throat> at least twice in the process of dropping and pulling up my anchor with you know 200 pounds of weeds and everything on it somehow these levers keep getting popped open so i thought well i'll put it with the cam lever up and still somehow i guess i don't know if the rope's tangling around it or weeds or i don't know what it is now when they pop loose it's not like it floods the hull it'll get maybe a quart of water over four or five hours but it's just annoying so what i did <clears throat> i found some of these kayak scupper plugs they're half inch but it's a real it's a hard durometer rubber it's a real it's a real stout rubber now these are half inch so i don't know if the holes in the kayak these are four or three eighths so this then fits tight but anyway this will just slide right in and out of my half inch hole so what i do is i take a 5 16 stainless screw and i just run it right in there once the plug is in and the end result looks like that, which nothing can snag on. This doesn't I mean you need a wrench to get that out of there. They are, they are in there and not going anywhere. And obviously nothing has gotten snagged on and they haven't come loose. And the last several times I've been out with the boat, I get home and I tip it up and I pull them just to check. And there's been absolutely zero water in there at all. None. So... That's fantastic, and apparently the tiny little bit of rubber or water I was getting in there was uh, the fault of these. I mean, these are super cheap, and who's getting mauled? Uh-huh, all right then. These are super cheap, but even after... Shit, these have only been in there for not even the whole summer so far. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of... Kind of rough looking. Other than that, everything's kind of like it's been. Works good. 
these um, these motor guide katana props are awesome. I've tried them on this, my 55 pound brushed motor. This is by far the best performing prop, especially in the grass and in the weeds. This thing is wicked. I get the best speed and everything. I said I've tried, oh, what have I tried? I've tried a bunch of stuff. Hang on a second here. So, tried those. I've tried the Kippawas. Um, that's the, the original ones. Forget what that one you want. Anyway, I've tried pretty much every prop that exists. And best performance on my brushed and my, this is a 64 pound brushless, have both been these uh, motor guide katanas. I had to trim my skeg down a little bit here to clearance on that one, but uh, works great. <clears throat> I typically use my brush motor if I'm going to be in the weeds because they, they clean out better. You can take this thing from full speed forward and slam it full speed reverse and it just shocks everything and knocks the weeds right off. The brushed motors, being that they're uh, electronic ESC controlled, when you go from wide open forward to wide open back, well, first off, you have to stop at neutral before it'll even go into reverse. But it's a soft start. So it slows down gradually and then speeds up gradually. And typically all that does is just rewraps the weeds in reverse. Whereas the brush motors, you can blast that sucker into reverse and just chop everything right off there. But your mileage may vary. For me, these uh, two blade katanas far outperform any of the three blade options I've tried. I think that's about it. Everything else, like I said, has been pretty much status quo. Everything's been working great. I've had no issues with anything. T-Track works fantastic. I have sent out six or eight sets of um, my transducer adapter and the clamp kit here. If you want to mock this up on your boat, if you're running T-Track and need some clamps or the transducer, let me know. All right, I think that's about it. Later.